Hey everybody, it's Joy with JoysLife.com. Welcome to this episode of 52. Well, this week I thought we would do something really cool and fiddle around with some paper clips. Look how cute these are. I found these at Staples, obviously, and they're just super cute jumbo paper clips. Um, we're going to make these fun little paper clips like this. All you do is add a ribbon to them. You might have seen these before. Um, a lot of people use them. You can make them very simply and add them to scrapbook pages or cards or use them as a bookmark for a teacher's gift. Any kind of thing you can come up with. So cute. But the real reason I'm showing you those is because I really want to work with these and I just want to show you these first in case you don't have these. Now what these are are jumbo, obviously jumbo. These are gigantic. Look at that thing. That is a monster. Here are the jumbo regular paper clips from Staples. They're tiny compared to this giant. But this one is different because it has this piece on the end. See that? Alright, that's kind of cool. Well, the neat thing about it is you can adhere stuff to it. And that's what the back looks like, like a little clip, okay? Which is what the whole thing is, right? A paper clip. Well, what I like about this is you can add big stuff to it. With these, it's just pretty much ribbon. You can add buttons and all kinds of other things, but it doesn't have, it's just a regular paper clip, so it doesn't have this flat place to stick stuff to. So my idea was this. I have these Prima flowers. These are very pretty, but they're really not my style. I bought them probably two or three years ago, and I still, I think, I used one. I mean, you see that one is missing, and I'm never going to use them. I'm just not. I do like them, and you know what you could do? You could actually paint these a different color or use some of those uh, little spray glitter things and glitter them up even more. They're already pretty glittery, but you can do lots of different things to them. I just don't want to. I'm tired of looking at them, you know? Very pretty, just not my style. What I could do is glue it to that. Now I've got a beautiful paper clip. Let me show you how to do that. Well, I think you probably get it. Glue, right? This. Try E6000 for projects like this. Let me make sure I can get mine open. Because, uh, oh, and work in a well-ventilated area when you do it. Because it's smelly and you shouldn't be breathing it. I'm just going to squeeze some out. Let's see. That should do it. Mine's kind of gunked up a little bit. Because it's an older, as you can tell, and much loved bottle. I'm just going to take this Prima Flower and stick it right on there. This should stay for quite a while. You could also use a hot glue gun and that should work for you really, really well. But the nice thing about the E6000 is it's made to work with metal and you've seen me use this to make, um, like to put the mason jars on top of candlesticks and stuff like that. And let me show you. I'll show you one so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, here we are with my mason jar, and all I did was glue it to a white candlestick. It's not white, it's clear. A glass candlestick from the dollar store. So that makes a neat holder. I was keeping some buttons in it, but I emptied it. Or you can use it as what a lot of people call a redneck wine glass, okay? You saw me use this in a David Tatura um, post that I did recently. I'll link to that right here. It can be really pretty and as outdoor glamorous as you would like it to be for a country celebration or any kind of thing like that you want to do. Um, so it doesn't have to be tacky-fied. It can be very pretty. You just dress it up a little bit. But anyway, long story short, that's what I use the E6000 for. Okay, let's get that out of the way. Move aside. Clonk. Okay. And then I used it for this. I keep little clips and things in here. This is just a cup from the dollar store on top of one of those glass candlesticks. Again, I use them for all kinds of things. Okay, so E6000, very useful, very helpful. And look at that flower stuck on there. It looks really nice in a book too. So the reason I wanted to do this was I bought so many of these things and I have not used one. Well, I guess I can't say that now. One. Yay! One. Um, and I wanted to use some of the things that I had. One of the things that I have are, I recently got these from my friend Melanie, who sells close to my heart. And these are beautiful buttons. Aren't those pretty? I mean, just, just look at the, that. Blah, blah, blah. Can't speak. 
Hold on, I'm going to zoom in and show you how pretty these are because I want you to see them up close. Aren't they pretty? Look at that. I love this little bird. So pretty. And this one says friends. And they're fabric and just so lovely. I adore them. Okay, let me get my hands off of them so you can look at them. Well, they're so pretty, I don't want to use them. Do you ever get stuff like that? It's the stupidest thing. We buy these things and then we think, oh, they're too pretty to use. Well, what good is it if you don't use it? So I decided, hey, here's something that would be long lasting and I could enjoy looking at it. If I would just stick the bird under that. Then I have a pretty bookmark. Isn't that cool? Now it's not just on a card and sent off in the mail where I just hope somebody is using it and enjoying it. Instead, I can give it to a friend or keep it and I can use and enjoy it. All right, you guys. I'm going to actually stick this on there so you know I'm going to use it. Now these have, let's see, these have a little sticky stuff on the back. I don't really know how well it'll stick and stay. I'll put it on there, but, um, oh, I don't know. That's pretty, <laughs> I didn't get it on quite like I wanted it, and I tried to take it back off, and it wouldn't come off. So I'm thinking it's pretty strong, but, okay, that's good. If it does come off, once again, E6000! We'll just stick it on there. So there's the back, and there's my pretty little button. Let's look at it in a book, okay? Because it's like, well, big deal. It's a big paper clip. It looks kind of hideous, but it looks better in a book as a bookmark. It's not really hideous. I like it. If you need a big paper clip, you're in luck, right? Okay, guess who was planning a trip to Seattle? Me. Um, here is my Frommer's Seattle book. I plan all of my trips that I take with the Frommer's Guide. That's just me. They always work well for me. Okay, so let's stick our bird in there. Now let's see how many pages that thing can clip. That's a lot of pages. Look at that. All right. Look, where to eat. Yum. Okay. Closing the book. I better move it up a little bit. See, now that looks, that looks good. And you don't have to bookmark that many pages. That's kind of crazed, right? But that looks nice. Now think how good this would be for a teacher gift. She can mark her papers. And obviously a bookmark like that will hold a lot. Ooh, I'm going to stick the paper one in there now. The paper flower. Look, we can bookmark so much. Here, that one's going to have to stay up some. But look, that's pretty. Yeah, okay, my book would be like the envy of everyone after I put some more of these in here. All my bookmarks would be so pretty. You could just mark everything. I love that. Okay, so that's really neat. Let's move the book out of the way. Oh, I wanted to show you this. This is super cool, too. Okay. Might not seem super cool, but it's just... A token from laser tag. You know you get these when your kids play games and you have to shove all your dollars into the machine to uh, create useless money. Well, <laughs> look at that. No cash value. Good to know. Thanks for that. I just wasted a quarter. Well, it can be a wasted quarter or it can be a memento, right? So you can remember that you went and did this. It might be great. Let's zoom in. This would be in. Okay. It might be great to get a kid to read. Or, you know, to make it a little bit more exciting, if they're not big readers, or even if they are, they might really enjoy a bookmark from one of the places that they like to go or have or have been. Sometimes you know you can get those. That's too close, isn't it? Let's back up. Sometimes you can get those uh, squish pennies. You know, you squish a penny when you go somewhere. And those neat little machines, like if you go to the zoo or wherever you go. A squish penny would be great on one of these bookmarks, I think. Oh man, let's lift that up. Yuck. Okay. But the good thing again about the E6000 is it'll hold something like this. Okay, so now we can remember we went to laser tag and that was fun. And mom gave a quarter to get this useless thing. No, just kidding, just kidding. It was a fun time. But now it is a cool memory that can go in a book and encourage a student in a classroom or your own child or whoever to read, right? Because they can look at this and that's kind of cool. So very neat. And just think you could have coins or like money from other countries, small denominations, and that will be a really neat memento. That's cool. That still needs to dry a bit, but there it is on the back. Oop. You see, it's still kind of, I got it everywhere, but it'll dry and it'll be just fine. I think that'll hold. I've never tried to put anything quite like that 
um, on metal. But, I mean, if it'll work with uh, that, it should work with this. Yay! Okay, so now we've got three. I'm grabbing the book again and trying not to sit it in that glue I just made. Three cool bookmarks. Ta-da! But let's just say, hey, you can't get your hands on these right away, okay? But you want to make a cute little bookmark. And don't forget, you can use buttons too, okay? I just throwing that in there. But anyway, you want to make a cute little bookmark, but you can't get your hands on these big things at the time. By the way, I got these on Etsy. So I just looked up a seller and bought a bunch of them. 25. Like, I really needed 25. But sometimes I go crazy. Okay, let's move that out of the way and let me show you how to do these cute little bookmarks. Hold the phone. I'm not ready to show you that just yet. I wanted to show you these adorable tiny bottle caps. Aren't these the cutest thing? Look at that. You could also use them to make a tiny pie pan if you wanted to do something like that for a kitchen card or a cooking card or layout or whatever. I think that would be so cute. Well, these are by Doris. I think I got these. I don't know. I was at a craft store. I can't really remember which one. It's possible that I ordered them. I typically uh, buy things from Amazon when I do that, but it can vary. And oh, you've seen me use these before in this video right here. There, we'll put it right there. In this video, I show you how to use uh, these bottle cap stickers and do all kinds of cool stuff. And um, these are just tiny ones. So I used this sticker pack before. I'm going to use it again. I think I picked this up at Hobby Lobby. So all I do, it's just full of stickers that fit big bottle caps, and then they also have the tiny ones, so I wanted to find a cute tiny one. Oh, here's one with a tiny city in it. Let's use that. Okay, it's so small. And it's just a sticker, like I said. Look at that. Sticker. There. Pretty cute. I think it's a tiny city. Yep, it's a tiny city. Okay, now I'm just going to stick it in my little bottle cap. Darn, I got it a little off, but oh wait, it's not stuck yet. Be still! Nah, I want it to get just right before I stick it down. I don't think that's going to happen. Let's just stick it down. Okay, it's stuck down. And now I have these epoxy stickers. I bought these on Etsy as well. They're just tiny epoxy stickers that fit on... Oh, and they're sticky on the back, and I shouldn't have stuck my finger on it because... If my hands look super shiny, I'm sorry. I put some lotion on and I can't get it off and it's like, I don't know, they're radiating, they're so shiny. Oh well, at least I'm getting lotioned up. Okay, you just drop, see that? You just drop the epoxy sticker in there, push it down, and you have a cute little bottle cap. Let me zoom in in case I'm not holding it very well. Oh, look at that. I covered up that glue that I dropped down there. <laughs> that was one of the stickers off the back of those... Uh, off the back of these. I had a little cover. So I could cover up that glue I dropped earlier. Okay, let's zoom in. Okay, can you see it? I hope I zoomed in enough. My camera's up too high. Anyway, um, so that is adorable and once again you just glue it to this. And it's just a little bit of a different look. So you can use those bottle caps. Now when it comes to the big bottle caps they're just a little too giant for this. Um, hold on, I've got one. I'll show you. All right. See that? Well, I'll, hold on. Whoops. Nope. All right. Let me stick this right on here. See how big that is? It'll work. You can do it. But it might be hard to um, really have it go down far enough in the book. You know, so I was kind of thinking that might not be perfect. And I'm not going to stick that one on just yet because I'm not sure I want to use it. But it is a cute idea. And plus, I got to show you how adorable these tiny ones are. So that's a regular size bottle cap, and then that's a tiny one. Love! So cute. And that's my glue covered up. I'll get it off later. All right. Now let's move on to these. Aren't these cute? I just love these little guys. I love this glitter one, and I hate glitter as a rule because it gets everywhere. Even this glitter ribbon kind of got on me, but I still love it. So we're going to use a different color glitter ribbon, this one, and I picked these up at Hobby Lobby, I think, quite a while ago. I think that's where it was. They were like a dollar each at the time. I don't know if they were half off, but I feel like that's how much I paid. And this is just some other um, ribbon I had in my stash. This is a Grogain ribbon, and this is just this little glitter ribbon. You can use 
any kind of ribbon here's something I had in a kit that I never used but we could use that too if you wanted to so whatever ribbon you have on hand it does need to be pretty skinny so you know just so it'll fit through the paper clip let me zoom out alrighty so let's let's get out a blue paper clip and I think I bought these last fall so it wasn't this fall and Staples had a bazillion of these in the aisle and I just thought they were so cute I even bought little ones these are the jumbos oh man did my my glue thing came up I'm trying to cover that glue so we don't stick anything in it by mistake okay I could clean it up that would help too all right all I'm gonna do is take my scissors which have gotten dull I realized when I was away this weekend at a scrapbook convention and they didn't want to cut without me being rough with them okay see how it's dropping glitter annoying all right I'll live through it all right to be honest my initial demo for that just went crazy so we're gonna do it again all you do is I'm running it through the this end with the double end down here at the bottom I'm just gonna bend my ribbon in half okay and just have both ends kind of meet shove it right through there and then you're just gonna put it right through the hole and then pull the two ends up oops easier than it just turned out okay pull the two ends up through there and that's it I hope that made some sense visually but it's very simple you're just making like a little rabbit let's do another one real quick in case that made no sense this glitter stuff is uh, everywhere so let me use a different ribbon okay I've chosen this pretty green paper clip and now I'm just going to cut a bit of this mint green ribbon now remember just use your stash of stuff that you've got because I bet you've got a bunch of ribbon and you know little extra pieces and things that you don't really need this is a perfect craft for that kind of stuff all right so I just bent it in half bent it I sounds sounded like I said I bit it in half I didn't do that okay and now see how we just doubled it up strung it through there and now so you've got the little hole right there just bring that two pieces through the hole and then pull up simple simple as pie yay see how cute yeah it was really a lot harder to work with the glitter ribbon and show you how to do it so now just cut it well to whatever length you want you don't have to cut it you make it leave it long ah okay if you notice that your ribbon is unraveling a little bit or a lot of bit you can use some zig two-way glue like this and put it right on the ends and wait for it to dry and it'll help it stop unraveling after it dries and this comes out blue and it dries clear so don't panic you can also burn the ends using a candle or like a little heat gun or something like that not a heat gun but a heat knife I use those to carve craft pumpkins and things like that um, so and there's also a, a little stuff you can get that you can put on the ends that's made just to keep ribbon from unraveling and other things like that and I'll link to that or put the name right here okay now the other thing is with this ribbon it stays on pretty well it doesn't try to come off so much you know if you pull it tight it just stays there but this one keeps trying to slip notice that see how it's coming undone what a pain right well you can fix it let me show you how another glue vegan adhesive Fabri-Tac I love this stuff it is so great I started buying this a few years ago because my daughter needed to do a project in school where they had to glue a bunch of felt and stuff together and anyway she used it for the whole project it was totally awesome worked terrific okay you can pick it up at Michael's or wherever your favorite craft store is they have it just about everywhere I think you can probably find it well I can't think of anywhere you can't find it you know Joann's Michael's Hobby Lobby ah, did you see that <laughs> okay try not to drop it so I'm waiting for it to just come out all right all I want you to do if if your ribbon keeps trying to come undone pull it tight and then we're on the back so that's the front where it looks nice see that cute right there like that neat okay but we're gonna turn that over and where you've pulled it tight just put a little drop of this stuff 
Watch me put a big glob of it because I can't get it to come out. Come out! Alright, whoa. Whoa! Hold on now. Hold everything. Yeah, that's that's ridiculous. Okay, do you see this? That's too much. Look how it's still coming out. That's just great. Thank you. It's an eruption now. Well, let's pretend you just had a normal experience with it. Look at that. It's even shooting out bubbles. Okay. This is not your average experience, but, you know, when you're being a goof, sometimes this happens. Okay, so just put a little dot of it on there, and it will hold it, and you're not going to have to worry about it. Would you look at this? This is crazy, all right? That's probably where most of the glue in my thing went, me being a goofball. But what I love about it is it will really help this hold. It helped... Sorry, Fabri-Tac, you're awesome. That was user error completely. That looked like it could have been a science project. Okay, but well, I put it on this red one and it really helped hold it. Can you tell that it's on the back? It doesn't um, show up too much. It's just kind of clear. Well, you know, like a glue. So that's really nice. It just does a good job holding. And I, it doesn't take that long to dry either, so that's nice. I haven't put any on this blue one. But I will, because I don't think it's going to stay forever. And, get out of the way, everybody. I put some on this brown one. And it's just holding fine. Anyway. Alright, let's get these little guys straightened out. And now they're all in that blue glitter. Holy cow. Wow, look how many cute little bookmarks we made. That was so fun. So just remember, if you only have access to regular bookmarks, buy the jumbo ones. Use whatever you've got on hand. Remember, you could also use a button and just glue that to the back. And you might want to use like a hot glue if you're going to do buttons. And you could do button back and front. And you could even stick one right here. That would look cute on the other side of the ribbon. Whatever, whatever. So use what you've got on hand. If you want to go and buy these, that's cool because there are a lot of neat things you can do with those too. This was just a fun little project. I hope you really enjoyed it and I hope you'll come back and see me at joyslife.com. Bye!